great. We bought this, I bought these trays for 33 cents like five years ago. <laughs> like I bought 50 of them and they've been sitting in the garage for five years, couldn't figure out what to do with them. Well, this spring we made them up because I do a spring open house. My house has a greenhouse attached to it. So you go from the greenhouse into the living room. So we take the greenhouse, but it's in the woods, so you can't grow anything in it. Um, so it's my Mary Kay thing. So in the spring, we do a spring open house, and I made these up, and we sold a lot of them. So I don't know where you would get a tray like this, but it gives you an idea that they were buying leg energizers with the sock. Then I had leg energizers with the little um, pedicure sets, you know, like the toe separators. They didn't like them. So I didn't bring it. And it, I have a whole bunch of those. Mm -hmm. they, that didn't buy, or that didn't sell, but the soft one did. Mm -hmm. That's why I start the day after Christmas. Mm -hmm. Because I know what happened, what they were gravitated to. I ask myself, is it the way it was packaged? Is it, you know, why didn't it sell? And they just like socks. So I tell you why it didn't sell. Socks seems to have more value to it than that little pedicure kit. Yep. So it's about what they think the perceived value is. That's why my stuff sells because there's a lot of value to it. And they're when they're all made up and you see 50 gloves and the bows are like that, they just go crazy. Go sit there for 15 minutes picking bows. It's amazing. How much did you sell those for? Pardon me? How much were those sold for? This one, because we were trying to get rid of all that stuff, these were 12, but they probably should have been 14. Now that's, that's a choice. I don't do a discount that if I want to move something out, then I, like, we probably only paid a dollar for these socks. I have 33 cents in this, like this, make them go away. And I'm so excited <laughs> that I can figure out a way to get rid of these. Right, so we'll make a bunch of these up to look like Christmas this year because they like them. So here's the other thing. Glass mugs, regular coffee mugs don't sell anymore. They used to sell. And ugly never sells, guys. You know, ugly never, sells. ugly never sells. You know, you want to you get this really good deal on this Christmas mug and it is bad. It's yes. ugly. And says, why it didn't sell is because it was ugly. I, just, I mean, I make stuff that's ugly because, you know, I thought it was a good deal. Ugly is ugly. So they don't, they're not buying them now, but they are buying, they're buying travel mugs. Oh, Anything that's a travel mug, they'll buy. And I've got a couple of versions I'm going to show you. This is a glass travel mug. You know, we brought in a company called Mud Pie, but that's this mug. And I, I apologize for being squished in my, can you get it? Being squished in my um, suitcase. But they're a glass mug, and they retail for $12. And then we put the hand cream in them. This is where the back of the lid goes. And we, I sold these for like $20, and they were gone the first day at $20 because it was just a nice thing. So I'm telling you that because if you find some nice travel mugs that are pretty, <coughs> don't be afraid. You just double it. So I paid $6 for it. I doubled it to 12 Then we added the hand cream. We sold them for $22. That's right. We sold them for $22. And when I sold, I sold all of them. I think we sold 24 of these. 24 is good. I'm, I'm, at 22 bucks, I'm, I'm happy with that. So that was this. Now, my my grandbabies made me buy this. I have all these girls. I want to tell you, diva divas. They made me buy this, and I have a hot pink one that I carried all summer. Um, this one came from Big Lots. The only color they had that would fit on. Yeah, it's like where's that in Big Lot? You have to look at the on, in, on the end cap where they have all the travel mugs. Um, do you guys have Christmas stores down here? Mm -hmm. It's called the Christmas store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have that? You don't have that? You do? Um, they had these at the beginning of the summer and in, in, in pink, the rhinestone stuff. And um, I didn't buy them because I didn't. Boom. Why did I do that? I hope they still have them because they had lots of them. Um, this was $4 at Big Lots. I could sell this for $20 all day long. If I could sell that for 20, I could sell this for 20. Is that like, <laughs> mine's have pink, of course. Of course it's pink. Now that you need this one. They're four, three and six, and so they picked that this and pink for me. At Walmart. They have that at Walmart. Yeah. And with the four? The one in Wallace has them in pink. What, how I want to say it was five something, five thirty-five maybe. So you have to just watch and look around and see if you can. I got this at Big Lots for four, but even at five, if it's ten, because I sold the other one for that was twelve. So even if you get it for five and it's ten, and then you put hand cream in it, you sell it for twenty. It's still a great gift. 
And again, I didn't want to put a bow on it. I like the net thing. You guys know how to make net puffs. Remember when you make um, Kleenex pom poms? Yeah. You guys, did you make Kleenex pom poms in school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. this is, I was just told this the other day. Yeah. Like yeah. Kleenex pom -pom. That's what these are, um, and I'll show you how to make them later. So this, this is, I'm going to do these this year. I hope I can get my hands on more. Well, a Big Lots only had this one. Um, so I'm going to go to the Christmas store, and hopefully they still have some. So now let's move. Oh, one other. I have a couple things. I'm, I'm going to buy the price point before I jump up. Last year, um, again, we bought these scarves at the end of the year, and um, I had them for a couple years, and I tried to package them in cellophane bags, it didn't sell, I mean, I, I had it for two years, every year I brought them out, they're like, bleh, they were ugly, they, just didn't, <laughs> they were ugly, they didn't sell. Here's the point, they like these boxes because it looks like a gift, and in a cellophane bag, it wasn't like, it. even though the bow was pretty, they didn't like it, so we put it on, these boxes last year, and I sold hmm, probably somewhere in the 20s worth of these, and I bought these, you can buy these kind of things for five bucks. Scarves are still the number one accessory this year. When I went to market, I could not believe that they were still showing scarves. They were showing scarves by the boatloads, so scarves are so big. So, what is your price point on that yet? Uh, probably, this was five to 10, hand cream. You know, it's okay that there's hand cream and everything. It's okay. It's okay. I sell, I sell between three and five hundred hand creams every year. What difference does it make what I sell? You guys got to get that in your head. It doesn't make one bit of difference what you sell. I don't care if you make a living selling lip gloss. If that's all you sell is lip gloss, knock your socks off. If you want to be Queen's Court of Sales selling lip gloss, do it. Who sells something? Mary Kay used to tell us nothing happens until somebody sells something. So I make a living selling hand cream. It didn't matter to me that they didn't have a line because I was going to sell hand cream anyhow. So this is like an eight, or what did I say? But 20, that would be 20. But it depends on what you get the scarves for. If you could find scarves for three, then it would be 16. You know what I mean? That's our 17. So we sold these. I sold them all last year. Sold them all. Every one that I had for two years that didn't sell for two years sold because I made them up like this. Wow. It took a long time to figure that out. Ooh, go ahead. So they're all done. Now, let's get into the next price point, which is that $20, $25 price point that I was telling you about. This is my biggest seller in that price point. We sell, sold over 100 of them at $25 last year, and it was these. This is a scarf that I twist around, and it has a hydrating lotion in them. We just twist the scarf around and put a bow on it. Huh. And this has a hydrating lotion in them. They all have hydrating lotion in them. No choice, hydrating lotion. And these are, so this year, because um, we had trouble finding scarves that were sharp and affordable, and so this year we found this one. Again, it's a gift. So what would they like to give as a gift? So here's the one that I got. This one is six, it's on there. You can buy them from me. This is six, but it's, it's sharp. It is sharp. You're not gonna find this at Walmart. This is sharp. So this one is six, and then the other one is this one, which I think is 550. You know, and, and these are really, really sharp scarves. And there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do with these little guys. So um, it becomes a great gift. Just a, an awesome, awesome gift. And when you are, like a lot of us say, well, I have customers and I can't keep showing them hand cream every year. Well, you're not. You know, because every year is something different. You have hexing gloves, you got regular gloves, you got socks, you got, you know, these pretty scarves. So, so we have these. Um, now this stuff I, I don't have, again, these are gonna go really fast because they had to be imported. And um, when they're gone, they're gone because they can't bring it back in again. There's not enough time. And I was a weenie, I didn't know how many to buy, so I was afraid to buy too <laughs> But I bought 1,200 of these and they're almost gone. And I bought 1,500 gloves and they're almost gone. So if you like those gloves, you have to buy them because they're gonna be gone. Because that's, I, they're already gone, I've only done two workshops. If you have 50 people and you each buy two, that's 100 gloves gone. I had 100 people workshop, and two gloves will get you nowhere. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute, too. We're gonna to talk about quantities next. So this is my next big seller for all our people. I was with a, a friend of ours, Sarah and Celeste. Number one selling is gloves, number two is socks, number three is scarves. That's across the country that do it with me. We're all selling the same stuff for quantity. Now, here we get into the fun, fun, fun stuff. This 
box here. This is satin yes. handset. Do not try to decorate the satin handset. Yeah. This is an ugly bag. Very. You know, and I've seen people try to make this bag look like a gift, and that girl still has to go home and do something with it because it's ugly. So <laughs> it's not ugly for packaging. It's ugly for a gift. It's a gift for packaging. It's a great little bag for packaging, but it's not a gift. But I get the, the word gift. <laughs> Just keep remembering gift. <laughs> because if you're going to hand it to someone, mm -hmm. it has to look like something. This box cost you a dollar and a quarter. It's my large gift box. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, wow. that's a gift. Yes. Okay, now, we don't sell. How many of you sell satin hand sets at Christmas time? Okay, now here's what. How many of you sell 20 satin hand sets? Okay, you got one. <laughs> one. It's sometimes, like if you have a customer that does it. So, the <clears throat> only point I'm making is we don't sell that many. I sell like maybe 20 of these. That's and only because I have companies I can sell it to. So, when we go back into inventory, you don't buy what I'm telling you across the board because you're not going to sell it that way. And you have a tendency to buy 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And so then you can't get rid of something and your money's all tied up there. But satin hands will sell better when you have something like this. Mm -hmm. And they come in gold and silver. These boxes you just need to own because you can put all of your kids' gifts in it, clothes fit in it for a dollar and a quarter. You can't buy a gift bag. And I want you, and I'm going to show you two other really big boxes that are fun, that are huge for us. I want you to think about it. Gift bags cost you a dollar to two bucks, even if you're going to the dollar store. By the time you put tissue paper in it, you go to and trim it out. By the time they give it to somebody, it looks like an elephant jumped on it. They look, <laughs> but they do. I mean, they're in the bag, you get in it. I didn't you know, the paper's like, the, the, but they're squished. They are. Everybody's is. You get to get to, you know, when you go to a birthday party, unless you just put it in there and walk over there, it, they're, they're a mess. So here, you're getting a gift that's, that at least you can transport. <laughs> you know, so speaking of that, here it comes in the silver. Now, if, you, if you're starting, I need you to start thinking like me, because if you do, you will always be thinking about the end product that you're going to sell as a gift to a customer who has to feel good about giving it to somebody. And if it's a company that's buying it or whatever, they're not going to give a, you know, jumped on gift bag. Here's the silver. Well, I have a guy, I have to tell you about my, my buddy, Scotty. I grew up with him. I was raised in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, but there was a recreational lake that I was a, a very privileged child to get to spend my whole summer every summer there for my entire life. So I've been there since I've been two and you can learn people and I'm 61 so I've been there my entire life. So Scotty, you know when you're a kid, five years is huge. You know if, if you're in eighth grade and that guy's in college, five years is huge. And Scotty was kind of gone already but his father owned a steel erecting company and uh, Scotty is He's kind of one of the good old boys, you know. I won't even tell you what's on his belt. Anyhow, <laughs> we won't even describe the belt. So this is my conversation with Scotty. Scotty, what do you want this Christmas? Yeah? So how many girlfriends you got this year? And honest to God, this is the tone. Is there, I don't know. How many did I have last year? I had 25. That sounds about right. How much did I spend? So you spent 35 bucks. Okay, hangs up the phone. <laughs> then he'll give me a call and he'll come and get them. And he gives them to like, um, and I have two guys that actually do this, to the girls at the bank, all the waitresses, to the restaurants wow. he eats at. Um, because they do a lot of building like that, the, the girls at the borough building, um, sometimes, sometimes he gives one to his wife and daughter. They ask me so much money and they're going like, oh my God. And he goes on those $50,000 kill wild boars and Borneo <laughs> stuff. You know, and he's complaining about that they take all his money. But, now if you think about it, that kind of rough and tough kind of guy, um, and he comes up in his big old pickup truck, I have to, can I give him gift bags? Oh, you kidding oh, me. Oh my gosh. So we use these kind of boxes. We use those. We have, this last year we used these. I have these boxes made for me. Um, these boxes are made for me, so I, they, and again, they're, they're limited because I have to make them so far in advance to get my pattern. This was last year's pattern, and this is this year's pattern. You just need to own them. And actually, Adorable. if you bring these to your gift shows, and this is not Christmas, not meant to be Christmas. If you bring them to, uh, to every gift show, and I've had this in the past, everybody needs a gift. At, they need a birthday gift 
at every show you need to have one of these boxes made up. And then here, I love this, it'll hold two pieces of spa in a puff. So that would be 14 and 14 is 28, the box is $2, 250. So the box is $2, so you got 28, 20, 29, 30, 31, 32. Yeah, we need to sell this for 35, yep. for two, three, one, two. So if you put two in, you can sell it for 35, which is a good price. Excuse me. Or if you put one in, you can sell it for twenty dollars. Now look at that for twenty bucks. You want a gift bag, or you want something like this? So you put your bow on it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that sharp? Yeah. See, now you're putting your name with really nice stuff, mm -hmm. and people will come back to you because we're thinking like the finished product, right? <coughs> you guys can see that. Now my favorite new box is this one. It's the puff box. Oh, how cute! Oh, oh, that's cute. This box is a dollar and a quarter. So it's better than a gift bag, right? Comes like this. Now, actually, they were smaller last year, and when I came in this year, I had a heart attack because I thought she was going to charge me more. They come flat. I'm going to give you this little lesson since we're on video. You go like that, and then you just kind of go like that. Kind of go like that. And this guy will hold two pieces of anything. Two pieces of. Well, you guys can take pictures. You can come take pictures. Now, watch. So it will hold. Hand cream, leg energizer, you can put like anything in here. Socks, anything in here. Anything. Old spa, if you have spa left, anything you want. Or how about if you just use them because they bought $100 for the product? Or they bought $50 for the product rather than using a plastic bag if you gave them their product in this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whenever. <coughs> that is Aren't those neat? Yeah. I love these. And then we did it this way. And I love uh -huh. silver. Uh -huh. I love it with the puff on it. Is it cute to just cute? Dollar and a quarter. I mean, that's that's the kind of package I, I want packaging that will wow people. Another one that we have is this guy. And it comes like this and like this and in black. And then we're using that at play in this. I'm going to tell you what to do with that. So we use these little purses. And they're a dollar and a quarter. Are so, those tiny envelope boxes? No, these are purse boxes. The tiny envelope boxes are these guys. <laughs> are these guys? These are the tiny. Okay. And Tony, where's that? Those cool piggies, Tony. Tony found a cute little pair of <coughs> socks. Bummer! I wasn't looking in this direction. Oops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she look at these little kid socks she found when she oh. found those other socks. And look it, it fits right under his little belly. And his little feet go on the bottom, like that. <laughs> and she's going to put, what do we say, lip balms. Yeah, yeah lip, lip balms. Protector. Lip protector in there for kids. Oh, Aren't they? Is that not the cutest thing you ever saw in your life? Now, she bought them all, so I don't know if any of us are going to find these. But, <laughs> but I can sell things like this for children. So this sock would have been a $4 sock, too? It would have been. Would have been. So it's, say, 8 <laughs> would have been. But we won't even tell you what she got it for. <laughs> yeah, we have to tell you. She, she's a good shopper. She got them for a quarter. Oh, oh, yeah. But she's going to sell them for she 8 She sounds like Mary Kay. She's going to sell them for 8 because I want to tell you what. Now, now, this is a good lesson. So you go, I only paid a quarter. So I'm going to sell them for a dollar. And I put the lip protector. And then I'm going to sell them for $8. And then someone orders four. And you have three. And then you got to go back and buy one for $4. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. Happens all day long. I said, that's why you guys don't make any money. Yep. So whatever it was, yep. you double it, you uh -huh. add your thingy. Is that not, look at that. That's, that's right. adorable. Yeah. Are they not the cutest? Yeah. Look at adorable. That. I'm going to go hunting. I know. I'm going home. As soon as I go home, I'm hunting for these guys. Okay, so we got that. It's adorable. So